Um, we have now supported over 46 groups so far. So it's fair to say the youth are acting now. And lastly, I just want to remind you guys that the, the 46 groups, they're not just groups, they're individuals. Like my dad was saying in the video, it's not just one person that can change the world. You need groups and collectives to do it. And um, over, so far in those groups, we have 200 individuals engaged. So I think that's a big accomplishment. And now, I would like to introduce Dolly, who is a student at Otto University, and is also one of the grant recipients, so she's going to share her story to further enlighten you guys on that. Thanks. <laughs> no more pages. Hi, everyone. So, my name is Dolly, and basically my story starts in Colombia. I was born there during a civil war, as well as something that maybe some of you have seen, which is Narcos. I lived that, um, and it was really dangerous to the point that in 2005, my family moved to Canada. We sought asylum here. So it was really interesting to me moving here and having safety, and also trust in your political institutions. So growing up in Canada, it was the same as any other person, the same, the same public school most of you probably went to. And I always felt just as Canadian as everyone else, except when I took a social studies class and I learned about the Constitution. And one of the things that my teacher said that these rights are for all Canadian citizens and residents except for voting. So nobody really cared because everybody was a citizen. You know, you, you're born here, you get it. But I didn't. So I always saw there's a privilege that hopefully one day I could get. So you fast forward to three weeks before I turn 18. I was kind of nervous because I thought I wasn't going to get it and then I didn't know what was going to happen because I really wanted to vote that year. Um, but I end up, I do get my citizenship the day before I moved to Ottawa actually. And we moved here and from that moment on I really, really cared about civic engagement, especially through the form of voting, but it doesn't stop there. So last summer, before the election, a lot of people were talking about um, calls to action and about how we need to get involved, but it always stopped there. No one ever said, what's next? What are we going to do about it? So when I was talking to some friends over ice cream in Ottawa, I told them, I told them my idea, and that was to actually get people who aren't engaged. So not the 71% of youth who vote, but the, the 29 who don't. How can we get them to vote? And we thought it was easiest, like we always have our phones, so let's make an information resource for them that can be easily reached, that you just have to do a QR code, you tap it and you get it. So these girls I met through the Daughters of the Vote conference earlier, and they were in Ottawa, so they were like, let's do it, let's do this. So we decided to apply to a Youth Action Now grant, because as much as we have ideas, we couldn't really do anything about it yet. So Youth Action Now, with the grant that they gave us, enabled us to turn our ideas into action. So we are very thankful for that. And in the end, we made a resource that reached every person who isn't into being civically engaged through Civic Ottawa, where we had uh, all of the candidates from Ottawa Vanier and Ottawa Centre give us their three main points for why they're running. And we told them that they could not go over three lines because when we talked to people, when I talked to my friends who had never voted before and they were 23, they said, I don't want to read. I make it accessible. So that's what we did for them. It was, it was hard at times. Sometimes people don't answer you, but we got through it. And uh, in the end, we ended up reaching 400 people with it. So we're really happy and we're very thankful to Youth Action Now for that. And in October, which was also the election that had wrapped up and Youth Action Now was looking for committee members. And I decided to you join the steering committee and it's been an amazing experience. And I've met really amazing people, two of them being Gavin and Julia. Mm -hmm.